If YouTube Shorts videos are not showing up on YouTube, how will viewers find your Shorts videos? In this video, I'm going to show you five places where viewers can find your Shorts videos on YouTube and the best ways to optimize your Shorts videos so you can get more views and subscribers. Number one, browsing the Shorts shelf on the homepage of the YouTube app. If you have the Shorts feature on the YouTube app, you'll be able to see the Shorts videos on the Shorts shelf. If you want to know if you have the Shorts feature on the YouTube app, then tap the plus sign on the YouTube app. If you see create a short, that means you have the shorts feature on the YouTube app. If you see shorts as a traffic source in YouTube analytics, this means you're getting traffic from the short shelf on the YouTube app. Click the link in the description to watch my video on how to create a shorts video on your phone that doesn't have the shorts feature. Number two, browse features. This is where viewers find your shorts videos on the home screen on youtube.com or on the home screen on the YouTube app. It's the place where YouTube delivers the most personalized recommendations for each viewer based upon their browsing behavior. It's also a great place for non-subscribers to find your shorts videos. When a viewer visits a home screen, YouTube displays videos from their subscriptions, videos watched by similar viewers, new videos, and more. The selection of videos that appears on viewers' home screens depends on performance and search and watch history. Performance refers to how well the video has engaged the viewer and satisfied similar viewers. Search and watch history refers to how often a viewer watches a channel or topic, and how often YouTube has already shown each video to the viewer. You can view the percentage of browse traffic you got from shorts in YouTube analytics. Number three, search. This is where viewers find your shorts videos based upon search queries that they type into the YouTube search engine. The videos are ranked based upon how well the title, description, tags, and topic match the search query of the viewer. It also looks at which videos have driven the most engagement for the search query. Number four, suggested videos. These are a personalized collection of videos that an individual viewer may be interested in watching next based upon their prior activity. So if a viewer has been watching a lot of cat videos, then YouTube will suggest more cat videos to that viewer. Suggested videos are usually shown to viewers on the right side of the watch page, under the up next below the video on the YouTube app, and as the next video in autoplay. Signals that contribute to suggested videos include videos that viewers watched along with the current video or videos that are topically related. Suggested videos will also appear based upon a viewer's watch history. So if you've been watching a lot of puppy videos, then more puppy videos will appear. Visit YouTube Analytics to view the percentage of traffic you got from suggested videos. Number five, channel pages. This is where viewers find your shorts videos on your channel page or other people's channel pages. The channel page is not the same as the home screen, which is at youtube.com or at the home page on the YouTube app. The channel page is the front page of your YouTube channel. For example, if somebody was watching a video, then clicked on your channel link, then watched the shorts video from your channel, that'll be considered channel traffic. Another way to get channel traffic is that somebody might have typed in the name of your channel, then watch a shorts video from your channel. A viewer might have also come to your channel from a third party source and watched a shorts video from your channel. Check YouTube analytics to view the percentage of traffic you got from channel pages. A sixth traffic source that you may have also noticed in YouTube analytics is external. This is traffic that comes from Google search, the social media sites, or any other external source outside YouTube. Now you know the six different traffic sources where viewers watch your shorts videos. Let me know in the comments below what your highest traffic source for shorts videos is. I'd love to read them and I'm sure others would too. Here are five tips to help your shorts videos to appear on YouTube if they're not showing. Number one, include hashtag shorts in the title if you're using the YouTube shorts camera. Number two, include the hashtag shorts in the title or description if you're uploading the YouTube shorts video anywhere else. This could be from the YouTube app, even if it doesn't have the shorts feature. You can also upload a YouTube shorts video from your computer or laptop. Just make sure it's in a vertical format and under 60 seconds long. Click the link in the description to watch my video on how to make YouTube shorts on your computer or laptop. Number three, create an optimized title. Use a keyword phrase that has a high search volume and low competition. My secret weapon for doing keyword research is TubeBuddy. I'll post a link to TubeBuddy in the description below this video. Number four, add a short section to YouTube channel homepage. When you do this, your shorts videos will appear on the short shelf on the YouTube mobile app. All you have to do is click on customization in YouTube studio, then under featured sections, click add section and click short videos. It says this section is only visible in the YouTube app. Number five, create a highly engaging video. If it's only 15 seconds because you're using the shorts camera on the YouTube app, make sure the first two seconds really counts. If you're creating a shorts video elsewhere, then make sure the first 20 seconds really count. Here's a bonus tip. Check your traffic sources and YouTube analytics to see how well YouTube Shorts videos are performing. If any of your Shorts videos are getting a ton of traffic, then double down on that particular video topic 
by approaching it from a different angle. The YouTube algorithm follows the audience, so if your viewers like your shorts videos, make more videos on those particular topics. If you want to know how to get started with YouTube Shorts, watch the YouTube Shorts tutorial on the screen right now.